welcome back to another video and today we will be looking at another inequality and here it says a b c are positive root numbers prove that a to the power of a times b to the power of b times c to the power of c is not zero or equals to a to the power of c b to the power of a and c to the power of b it might look quite simple but we will find out very soon so a really natural thing to do when you see a bunch of powers is to take the natural log of both sides. So here if we try to do that, we will get the original statement is equivalent to proving a times l and a plus b times l and b plus c times l and c is larger or equals to c times l and a plus a times l and b plus b times l and c. And if you're playing around, like for example, do the following arrangements, you get a minus c times l and a plus b minus a times l and b plus c minus b times l and c has to be larger or equal to zero, which it doesn't really seem to do anything. So what do we actually do with such a simple looking inequality? So here I will introduce the weighted form of the AMGM. And we have seen the use of this inequality without the weighted, of course, before in our previous videos, if you want to check them out. And here it states that x1 all the way up to xn are positive root numbers, w1 all the way up to wn are non-negative root numbers, such that w1 plus all the way up to wn are w, then we will have the following inequality. The summation of w1 x1 is larger equal to w times x1 to the power of w1 times all the way up to xn to the power of wn the entire thing take to the power of 1 over w and equality holds if and only if x1 equals to x2 equals to xn and w1 equals to w2 equals to all the way up to wn and equals to 1 over n so this might be a lot to digest, feel free to pause the video and have a break. Back to the question, if we rearrange, it will give us b over a to the power of a times c over b to the power of b times a over c to the power of c, smaller or equals to 1. And here we can apply the weight a and gm because it is extremely useful in involving these large powers in a inequality and if we apply them on b over a c over b and a over c we will have b over a to the power of a times c over b to the power of b times a over c to the power of c is smaller or equals to b over a times a plus c over b times b plus a over c times c over a plus b plus c to the power of a plus b plus c which is simply equal to one 